right now an assistance center is open for the victims of that deadly apartment fire from over the weekend. Six people in total were killed and 13 others were injured. And right now dozens are without a home as Christmas approaches. Officials just wrapped up a press conference there and Alicia Patillo tells you what they're saying about possible code violations. From social services to the Red Cross. Well, today this gym will be a haven where families can get help. And while questions surrounding the fire still loom, city leaders are hoping this is one step towards recovery. In a press conference today. Thank you all so much for being here today to help us reach all the families affected by the Alpine fire. City officials had a message to those affected by the fire at the Alpine Motel Apartments near Ogden and 9th on Saturday. If you were impacted by the Alpine Motel fire and need help, please visit this doula gym today until 4 p.m. to access services. Fire officials say the blaze started on the first floor near a stove, which quickly caused much of the building to be filled with smoke, killing six people, injuring 13, and leaving dozens without a home days before Christmas. Next thing we heard people screaming, hollering, fire, fire. It jumped up. I opened my door and it was just a cloud of smoke right there by our door. Oh Video we got from a viewer shows how desperate people were to escape the flames. And we want to warn you, it can be tough to watch. You can see them jumping out of windows, even turning bed sheets into makeshift ropes to get to safety. Firefighters believe the fire was accidental, but the tenants say they have been frustrated with the condition of the building for a while. I hope they get shut down. I mean, it's, it's a shame. People work hard. We try to work hard and do the right thing and live out here and, and, and make a living for ourselves and stuff, you know, and sometimes it's not easy. And city officials are working around the clock to find an answer. Uh, I promised them that we would have a full and thorough investigation and what will come out of that. Hopefully uh, justice will be served because they seem to be a lot of discrepancies going on at that facility. Firefighters noticed the smoke detectors working in the building, but didn't hear a fire alarm despite seeing the switch was pulled. They also say the building had no sprinkler system and there were no open code violations at the time of the fire. Alicia Batillo, 13 Action News. And that assistance center will be open until 4 p.m. today for those affected by the Alpine fire. If you were affected, you should go to the Doula Gym. It's located at 441 East Bonanza Road. For more information about where you can donate, just visit our website, ktnv.com.